Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about mathematical induction. This is a compulsory question you will get in uh, your question paper. So if you are from BCA, then you have BCS 12, which is basic mathematics, which is there in your uh, BCA first semester. And then MCS 13 is there discrete mathematics. This is for BCA students. This paper will be there in third semester. And if you are uh, belonging to MCA old syllabus, you will have this in the first semester. If you are uh, a student of MCA new syllabus, you will have this in MCS 212. Okay. So this is a common topic for all the three um, uh, papers. And you will definitely get one five mark question from this uh, topic. So now let's see uh, what this is about and uh, how to solve the questions and how what are the basic steps with two examples we are going to see about this. So now what is mathematical induction? So mathematical induction is a type of proof. Many theorems in max uh, states that uh, pn is true for all positive integers. So we have so many theorems which says this is true for all these positive integers. Best example given is that uh, sum of first pos n positive integers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n, which is n into n plus 1 by 2. So sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. You, have, you would have learned this formula uh, in uh, various topics. So uh, under arithmetic progressions and all that, you would have learned this formula. So to prove this type of statements, which involves natural numbers, we use mathematical induction as a method of proof. So this is one of the methods of proof. And this is one of the direct methods of proof. In max, there are two types of uh, proving a statement. So you have direct proof and indirect proof. Under direct proof, there are like two, three different methods. Mathematical induction is one such method. Mathematical induction is used to prove statements which involves natural numbers. And we can give a generalized formula for this. Now, these are the steps in an induction proof. So if you have to prove a statement that involves natural numbers, then uh, these are the steps to be followed. So basically here they have given us two steps. So I will condense that. I will uh, uh, divide that into three steps. So first step is a basic step, basic step. So in this basic step, we will try to prove that the given statement is equal for is, is true for n is equal to one. That is, in the left-hand side and the right-hand side, substitute n as 1. Okay. So, put n is equal to 1 in both LHS and RHS of the given statement. This is your first step. Of course, it will be equal. Both LHS and RHS will be equal because the statement is true and you're just supposed to uh, give a proof for that, right? So, that is the first step. This is called as the basic step. After this, we have the hy induction hypothesis. So this inductive step, I divide this into two steps. The second step is assumption. So you are assuming that the given statement is true. Assuming Pn is true for some n is equal to k. Okay, for some n is equal to k. For some random number k. The given statement is true. This is your assumption. That is your step two. Okay. After that, step three is this. Leading that, uh, assuming that PN is true, we are leading it to this next statement. That is, assuming that the given statement uh, is true for N is equal to K, we will try to prove that it is true for its next value also. That is, N is equal to K plus 1 as well. So, to prove that, there are certain steps. So, first and second step, you can write blindly. So, third step is where you have to do a little bit of simplification. So, we will learn some of the... Uh, uh, we will learn these steps with some of examples. So it is uh, going to be very clear for you. Here you don't have to think much. There are not many formulas. Uh, basically, there are no formulas in this. And uh, you don't have to uh, think, solve differently and all that. So I don't want any of you to miss this. Uh, it just needs a little bit of practice and five marks guaranteed. Okay, don't uh, miss this examples. Now, uh, all these videos under this exam prep series is going to be free for you. All the concept videos are free for you. Uh, but those videos where I go, I'm going to upload 
previous year's questions with answers will be under membership section. So you can uh, go to the home page or you can also uh, check the description below the video. There will be a link to join the membership. So once you join the membership, you will get all the questions from uh, these topics. From these topics, whatever previous year's questions are there for that solution videos you will get. Right. So uh, this is your first step where n, you put n is equal to 1 and you will prove that LHS equals to RHS. And then you're going to assume that this is equal for some random number. And then you are going to prove the given statement for n is equal to k plus 1. Okay, these are the three steps. In third step, you will have a little bit of simplification. Now, we will take an example and we will see how to present the answer. This is going to be for five marks. Every step carries marks and the final conclusion, uh, final declaration of the answer also carries marks. So, see how you have to write and uh, uh, try to write it in the same uh, way in your example. Okay, so we will solve uh, one example here. Use the principle of mathematical induction to prove that 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus goes on up to 2n is equal to n into n plus 1. Now, uh, see how to present the solution. It's very important. So, first you write the given statement. Okay, the given statement, this is your first step. Given statement is... 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus goes on up to 2n. This is equal to n into n plus 1. And mark this as equation number 1. Okay. This we are going to mark it as equation number 1. Now, your first step is a, a basis step. Or we can call it as a base step. Next is the base step. Here, uh, let n is equal to 1. Equation 1 becomes. Or you can write put n is equal to 1 in equation 1. Now see what is that you have to take. Uh, n is 1, right? When n is 1, you hear what you have written basically is even numbers. You are writing even numbers up to 2n. Suppose n is 1, then 2 into 1 is 2. Means you will have only one number, isn't it? So LHS reduces to just one number equals to. Here you substitute n as 1. 1 into n plus 1 means 1 plus 1. Which is 1 into 2 which is nothing but 2. So, LHS is 2. RHS is also true. 2. You must write this. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Thus, given statement is true for n is equal to 1. Given statement is true for n is equal to 1. This is your base step. So, understand how to write. Given statement, you have to write mark it as equation 1. Then take n is equal to 1. And in this, you have to substitute n as 1. In the left hand side, you will have only one term. If n is 1, 2 into 1 is 2. So means you will have only one term. And in the right hand side, wherever n is there, you substitute 1. You will definitely have LHS equals to RHS. You must write this LHS equals to RHS. And then you have to write thus given statement uh, is true. For n is equal to 1. Given statement is true for n is equal to 1. This is your base step. Next is induction hypothesis. What is induction hypothesis? We are assuming that the given statement is true for some random number n is equal to k. And you need to write that. So how to write this is, so I told you first and second step are super simple. First step, you will get LHS equals to RHS. This is done. Second step, whatever is a given statement, just rewrite that in place of N, you substitute K. That's all. So, assuming and the statements, whatever we are writing, it's very important. Assuming the given statement or you can write equation 1 also. Assuming the given statement is true for some N is equal to K. So, this is not a fixed number. It is some random number n is equal to k. We have 2 plus 4 plus 6 
up to 2k equals to k into k plus 1. So given statement I am rewriting, in place of n, you have to take it as k. So this is your second step. Next is uh, induction. Uh, hypothesis is done. Next is induction step. Okay, induction step. This is where you will try to assume, uh, you will try to prove that this statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So, uh, the, take the next step. This is the step where you try to prove this statement is true for its next value also. Uh, let or we write. So what is this statement here? We just keep on adding even numbers, right? So the next number is plus 2, isn't it? So add next value. What is the next value in this case? 2, 4, 6 up to 2k we have taken. The next even number is after 2, right? Add next value 2k plus 2 on both sides of the above equation or you mark it as equation number 2, both sides of equation number 2. So for this one, we have to just add the next even number because the numbers are even numbers, uh, 2, 4, 6 up to 2k. The next even number is 2k plus 2. So now write the statement as it is and in both the sides, you need to add the next even number. So LHS is 2 plus 4 plus 6 up to 2k plus this step, this uh, next number we have to add in the left hand side equals to right hand side, whatever you have here, you take it k into k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2. See, we are just adding the next number. Okay, we are adding the next value on both the sides. Since this is even number, next number is 2k plus 2. Uh, the existing number is 2k, next number is plus 2, right? So 2k plus 2, we are adding on both the sides. Okay, because we know this part is equal. We are trying to prove when I add one more, it is still in the same form. Now, what is that I need to prove? Here is what you need to a little bit think what should be the last step and then accordingly solve so that you don't make any mistake. Here, what is that you need to prove? The formula is of the form n into n plus 1. This is what you need to prove, right? So in place of n, you just substitute k plus 1. So the right, right hand side is supposed to be n into n plus 1. So in place of n, if I substitute k plus 1, this be n place, you will have k plus 1. Here you will have k plus 1 plus 1. So k plus 2. So right hand side should be k plus 1 into k plus 2. That is what you want. Once you know that, it is easy for you to simplify. So already see k plus 1 is there here. So k into k plus 1. Therefore, I will not multiply because I know what should be my last step. Here I will take two common. You will have k plus 1 again. Now from these two terms, you can see k plus 1 is common. From here, k is there. Plus here, you have plus 2. So this is of the given form. Okay, now you have to write. Therefore, the given statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. And then final statement is compulsory. This carries one mark. Thus, the given statement is true for all n. Given is statement is true for all n. That's it. So understand clearly, take n is equal to 1. Uh, write LHS, simplify and then write LHS equals to RHS. Thus, given statement is true for n is equal to 1. Next is induction hypothesis where uh, the given statement, you just rewrite it by replacing n with k. Okay, so we just have 2, 4, 6, here 2k, here k into k plus 1. That is your second step. In the third step, whatever, uh, observe what type of numbers you are adding. Here we are adding even numbers. So right now we have taken up to 2k. Next number is plus 2, right? So 2k plus 2 is the next number. So that next number you have to add on both the sides. Add next value 
which is 2k plus 2 on both sides of the equation. So 2k plus 2 I am adding here in the le left hand side, here in the right hand side as well. So after adding this, now you need to simplify only the RHS. How you have to simplify k into k plus 1, I can also write it as k square plus k, right? Don't do that. Instead, before you start simplification from the question, find out what should be your last step. In place of n, you substitute k plus 1 and see that you are supposed to get this k plus 1 into k plus 2. So try to simplify such that you get that step. And here we see that there is no need of multiplication. You just take two common here, you get the required form. Once you get that, write this two separate statements. It is must. Given statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Then thus the given statement is true for all n. And you can say therefore equation 1 is proved. Or the given statement is proved. Okay, so this is your induction. Uh, mathematical induction used to prove uh, mathematical statements uh, involving natural numbers. This will carry five marks for BCS 12 basic max, MCS 13 discrete max and MCS 212 discrete max. So make sure you don't uh, miss this one. Practice well. Uh, not very difficult. It's very simple if you know the trick how to uh, write your final step. And uh, this will ensure that you will get five marks without any confusion. So uh, again, I'm repeating concept videos with some uh, such example will be there for free. Uh, and uh, previous year's questions from this topic with solutions will be there under membership section. Uh, so you can uh, use the link present in the description below this video and you can join the membership. You will get uh, previous year's questions plus solutions, not just for this subject, for other subjects as well. And I'm giving you the disclaimer. I'm not telling you for all BCA, MCA subjects, for every subject, for all questions, you're not going to get the answers there. All the important topics will cover here. And for these topics, whatever we are covering, the respective questions with solutions will be uploaded there. As much as possible, I'm going to upload. Okay, so the amount that you're going to pay is extremely low uh, for the number of videos that I'm going to get. And I will try to upload as many videos as possible. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.